the direction from the client first off in this kitchen was it has to look good wrecked. So what she meant by that is she has a young child and she wanted it to be surfaces that once they get worn out, it wasn't going to look like a mess or it's going to look like a good mess. So the countertops are soapstone and we did not oil them today. So they have little bits of white spots on them and some rings um, and they look good this way. They continue to age and look old and it's an old house and they still feel modern and we all fell in love with them. Another thing about the countertops is they have a really minimum overhang here, um, which we like because it's really clean looking. It's not completely flush though because when red wine drips down the front of the countertop and it's completely flush, it goes right down the front of your cabinet face. So that was a little... It's clean, but it's not too clean. I think this fits the house. This is a, soapstone is a really old material. I used to make, you know, lab counters out of it. It's been around forever. It ages well, which I think is important, especially in a kitchen that um, has a modern feeling because like very sleek, modern lacquered cabinets would not uh, hold up to the, it looks good wrecked test. This looks good wrecked. These pine um, cabinet faces, even though they're very soft, they're gonna look great when they get wrecked. Um, so, you know, I think it's a modern kitchen that sits nicely in an old house. These are custom cabinets that have pine fronts on them. And pine is a really unusual thing to use on a cabinet. It's very soft. It's gonna get dinged up. Um, it's not something that most cabinet makers would offer. Um, especially in this sort of raw form. But I, I liked the idea of doing pine in here. She likes Scandinavian design. She likes things light. She likes it modern, but something that would look natural and good when it got beat up. So we ended up buying this um, pine and had the cabinet maker fashion it into the faces of the drawers and doors. Um, then we had the cabinet maker put some light washy finishes on it, but they, they felt the finishes were good, they would have held up great, but they looked too hard and shiny. So we just took it back even further and had um, Robert McAnulty do a paint finish on them, essentially, and seal them. So they really look like almost, they just look like whitewashed pine, which is what they are. So the fronts on these doors are just thin V-groove pine applied to the front of the cabinet face. and. Um, and then they have a paint finish and a clear finish on them to get them to look the way we wanted to. The tile on the backsplash is um, Dirk Elliott tile. It's made in Spokane all by hand. Um, and it, we went through a lot of different options for this tile. We thought about doing some pretty elaborate sort of mosaic looking things. Um, we came down to this because it appealed to us texturally. It's, it's smooth. It's handmade. It almost looks like something that you cut up and bake in the oven. Um, and it's very neutral and warm.